T-Mobile recently launched its App Insights program where it's able to sell data about its users to marketers who then in turn use that for targeting ads directly at you. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how to opt out of T-Mobile's new marketing program once and for all. All right, so here's the creepy thing about T-Mobile's new program. They track your app usage, which apps you download, how often you get into them, which Wi-Fi networks you connect to, which domains you're using in the web browser or visiting in the web browser. Then they anonymize all that data and sell it to marketers who hope to eventually figure out how to target you with more specific ads. Now, if you're not a big fan of this, and I know I'm not, you can opt out of it, but doing that takes a little bit of work and it's not something that would be completely obvious if, if you didn't know where to look. So you actually have to download an app on your Android device or your iPhone. And right now T-Mobile, to be clear, says that the iPhone is not part of this program because of Apple's uh, policy about tracking and selling user data. And they don't wanna make Apple mad by still collecting the data. So if you have an iPhone, you may not have to follow these steps, but it's a good idea to double check it anyways. All right, so we'll start with the iPhone here. I have it, the app installed on my iPhone. The app itself is called Magenta Marketing Platform Choices, and marketing is spelled M-K-T-G. Look, they're naming these apps so they're kind of hard to find, and you're not going to search for Magenta in the Play Store or Apple's App Store to look for these apps. So again, the name of the iPhone app is Magenta Marketing Platform Choices. Marketing is spelled M-K-T-G. Kind of tricky, right? All right, so on my iPhone, I already have this app installed, but because I have opted to not allow apps to track me or collect data about me, there's not much I can do here in this Magenta app. So if I had that option turned off, I would be able to tap on view my data and then go in and there's some options there, which I'll walk you through right now on the Android app itself. All right, so the Android version of this app is called Magenta Ads Platform Choices. Completely different name, same exact app that does the same exact thing. Again, they're not trying to hide anything, right? All right, so on this Pixel 6 Pro, which has never had a T-Mobile SIM card in it and has never been connected to T-Mobile service, I don't use T-Mobile, uh, it just, watch this. All right, so the Magenta app is loaded. Uh, there's my ad ID down at the bottom. If I tap on view my data, it's gonna take a second and it's gonna contact all of the people that they sell data to, and, and then it's gonna present you with a list of which companies have data about you or actually about this specific device. So these two companies have data about me. Again, never been connected to the T-Mobile network. And then down at the bottom here, there's an option to do not sell my data, telling T-Mobile to do that or delete my data. If you tap on do not sell and then confirm it, it takes a second, it says they have received your request and then it instructs you once this process is complete, which can take a few days, that you can delete the app. I don't recommend deleting the app or maybe deleting it and then reinstalling it a few months later. I'm going to leave it installed on my devices in order to check on this once in a while in case they decide to start collecting data about me again. So the status there will change once the process is complete and then you could do what you wish with deleting the app or whatnot. So, on another device, you're gonna to have to do this on all of your devices, uh, apparently. On another device, this Galaxy Z Fold 3 here, I selected the delete my data option yesterday. Um, it's still marked as received. They haven't processed it yet. I don't know if this is also going to tell them to do not sell my data. I'm waiting until this is marked as complete and then see what option it presents me there. Again, you'll have to do this process on any device that you have because it is specific to that device and not like your Gmail account or your Apple ID or your iCloud account. Uh, so make sure you go through, if you have a tablet, if you have another phone or your family member's phones, go through and do this process on all of them. And apparently you need to do it even if you're not a T-Mobile customer. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more helpful how-tos just like this one, as well as the latest in tech news.